to my channel and please excuse the scaffolding behind me. I'm currently in New York City and as you may know, there is scaffolding and construction going on on every single block. So yeah, also excuse the honking, you'll hear that a lot too. So why am I in New York City? So today I'm going to the flagship Van Cleef and Arpel store on 5th Avenue because I have two pieces that are new to my collection that I actually have to take in for adjustments. And let me, I'll just show you guys the little pouches so to give you guys like a sneak peek of what they are. By the way, my bag of the day is my lavender lilac mini reissue from Chanel. So one of them is in this little pouch. And then the other one, which I personally think is more exciting, is in this bigger pouch here. So yeah, I'm taking these to the Fifth Ave store for alterations and I am kind of like curious to like check out some of their other stuff there. This store is definitely much bigger than the one I usually go to so hopefully they have a lot of good stock there. And I think Van Cleef & Arpels is also doing some type of like flower installation during the month of May all throughout Fifth Ave. So I'll show you guys that too. So they have these kind of sketchwork flowers all over. Honestly, I thought it would look nicer than it is. I guess there's kind of like a quirkiness to it. But over here around the corner, there is this kind of installation here. But yeah, it doesn't... I think it's all like that across Fifth Ave. But yeah, it doesn't look that great. are so cute. So I've been meaning to check out the bangles and the rings from the pearly collection and I finally did this time. They didn't have everything I wanted to try on but there was enough for me to kind of like figure out what I like and what I don't like from the collection. So first up are the rings and okay they look great there is no denying that but honestly they're not very comfortable to wear. And the chunky kind of like clover one reminded me of those crazy thick um, thumb rings that are made of jade that men used to or maybe they still do wear. And then I tried on the signature bracelet as well as the one with one row of diamonds. And here you'll see the yellow gold and the rose gold side by side to compare the color difference. And then you can see here the difference in width of the two bracelets. And of course, I like the one that is thinner more. Let me know what you guys think of them though. I wanted to try on the one with the clovers too, but unfortunately they didn't have that for me to try. And then my sales associate showed me some photos on her phone of her clients stacking the pearly bracelets with the chalcedony alambra bracelets. And that reminded me that I had considered getting something with the chalcedony stone a while back, but I just never tried it on. So I tried on the necklace and weirdly enough, I always thought it was a blue color, but to me it actually looked more purple than blue, like somewhere between periwinkle and lavender in color. And I happened to be carrying a lavender colored bag and wearing a blue denim jacket. And you can see it looks so much closer in color to my bag than my jacket. And I was surprised how much I liked the carnelian here. 
Back when I was getting my first Van Cleef and her pals piece, I thought I wanted the carnelian stone, but I was not impressed with it, so I got the mother of pearl instead. And I'm rethinking my opinion on the stone now, and I think the reason is because the carnelian is a little bit translucent, so I think it will look better against your skin rather than on top of clothing. And when I tried it on last time, I was wearing a dark gray turtleneck sweater, as you can see from these clips that I inserted from a few years back. So yeah, I think that makes a difference. So the fifth Ave Van Cleef and her pals does seem to have better stock than the boutique I usually go to, but the general situation in all the boutiques seems to be that you really do have to reserve something in advance, even to just try it on before deciding to buy it. So I actually placed a 30% deposit it down on something that I really really want they said it was going to take approximately six months before it arrives so it's gonna be a while I'm just gonna have to be patient about it but of course when it arrives I will show you guys what I got so funny enough earlier today as I started editing this video I got a text from my sales associate saying the item I reserved had just arrived at the boutique and this is only about a week and a half after I first placed the deposit down so it came much sooner than the six months that I was quoted and even my sales associate was surprised it was such a short wait. And then after Van Cleef and our pals, I did kind of like show some of the flower installations that they did along 5th Ave but it was kind of lackluster compared to what I expected it to be. I thought it was going to be like lining all of 5th Ave on every block but it was like every few blocks or so you had this like one little thing. Yeah I, I have some clips of it but it was not what I expected it to be, considering it seems like they marketed the thing a lot. There's some right there, it all looks the same. Oh, that one. That one right there, over there. Anyway, so afterwards we also went to Lotterey to pick up macarons. We got like about 24 of them. This is what we do every time we go to New York. And then yeah, we, we got some pizza. <laughs> yes, we also got pizza from the old neighborhood that we lived in. Picked up dinner, so now we're headed back out of New York City. I think one day in New York City is more than enough for me. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'll leave two videos for you guys to watch next and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.